Now, just ahead of dawn with the sport news of a welcome return to action for an industry worth an estimated three billion pounds a year to the economy. The six day shutdown of horse racing after an outbreak of equine flu proved costly to trainers and bookies alike. So the decision to allow racing to resume has been a huge relief to race courses, including Newcastle, where tonight's meeting is going ahead after two abandonments. Well, Peter Harris is there for us now. Even in meetings like this, Peter, important revenue. Yeah, Jeff, as you know, there's been lots of development here over the last year or two with the floodlights and obviously the all weather track behind us, which allows for evening meetings like this one. So I'm sure it's a great relief to the general manager, Paul Elliott, that we've got horses here and punters, Paul. Absolutely. It's been a long, long sort of 10 days since the last race, but we're, we're delighted to be back on tonight and a um, busy week next week as well. So that's, that's brilliant. It must have been pretty bad then for you, all the things you've had to do in the last week or two to put things right again. Yeah, we've spent a lot of time, we've disinfected all the stables, all the, the equine areas, the pre-parade ring, the parade ring behind us, um, the starting stalls. There's been a lot of hard work gone in by the ground staff and uh, James and his team and we're just delighted to be back tonight. Because people are never going to feel sorry for the bookies, are they, who are all lined up here behind us, but I guess it's not just them, all the different people who are affected when race meetings like the ones you've had here are abandoned. Absolutely, it's 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 not nice for everyone. It was a worrying time last week, but I think the BHA have reacted quickly and um, it's just a delight to be back. You mentioned they've reacted quickly. I mean, there is a school of thought, isn't there, that equine flu, flu doesn't kill horses. Um, you know, have they overreacted or do you think it was proportionate to call the, the meetings off? Uh, I don't think so. I think it, it's better to be safe than sorry. And we've lost six days, yes, but we're, we're back now and, um, and we just need to move forward from now, I think. I mean, we're obviously here tonight. I mean, it's fairly quiet, it seems to be tonight, but just generally, with all the development you've had here at Newcastle Racecourse, Paul, how has it gone, do you think, with the race meetings? What kind of contribution has that made to the business here? Yeah, it's, it's been brilliant, to be honest. The, uh, the all-weather track has been brilliant for racing in general. Um, we've, we've raced a lot of Friday nights. Um, we're getting some good crowds and a good corporate audience, so uh, we're really pleased with how the, how the track's gone down and, and delighted to, to continue to race on these Fridays. I guess it's got to be said, though, it's not necessarily out of the woods with equine flu yet are there still some some anxiety there about what might come yet yeah the anxiety is understandable but i'm sh i'm confident that we're through the worst of it now and um we can just move forward into into what's a busy time for here and, and the industry in general Great. thanks so much for joining us paul best of luck with that let's hope there's no further disruption do you remember on the regional news years ago they always did racing tips jeff i won't try i don't <laughs> think that would end well back good, to you good idea peter thank you very much